We still need one more Eucharistic minister. Drew. Drew Torzeski. Good and gracious God, today we thank you for bringing us together. We pray especially today that we will recognize the presence of God recognize your presence in all the small things. Drew Torzeski came. Thank you. Good morning and welcome to Little Flower. Today we celebrate the 19th Sunday in Ordinary Time. The Liturgy of the Word may be found at number 1146, number 1146. Our opening hymn is number 685, How Can I Keep From Singing, number 685. My life flows on in endless song of lover's lamentation. I hear the clear though far off hymn that hails a new creation. No storm can shake my inmost calm while to that rock I'm clinging. Since Christ is Lord of heaven and earth, how can I keep from singing? Through all the tumult and the strife, I hear the music ringing. It finds an echo in my soul. How can I keep from singing? No storm can shake my inmost calm while to that rock I'm clinging. Since Christ is Lord of heaven and earth, how can I keep from singing? Amen. 
The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, we want to welcome all of you who have come to celebrate with us this 19th Sunday in Ordinary Time. In a very special way, we want to welcome all of our visitors, all those who are watching us live streamed, and those who may watch us recorded later in the day. Let us acknowledge our sins so as to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you have loved us with an everlasting love. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you send your Holy Spirit to live within and among us. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you call us to love one another as you love us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Now, Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Now let us give glory to God. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, whom, taught by the Holy Spirit, we dare to call our Father, bring, we pray, to perfection in our hearts the spirit of adoption as your sons and daughters, that we may merit to enter into the inheritance which you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Now would all those going to children's liturgy please come forward.
My dear children, today you will learn that God loves all of us. God, in fact, loves all people. And therefore, we're called to love all people also. And we show that love for others in the good things we do for them. Let us pray. Good and gracious God, look with love upon your children gathered here. Help them to understand that you love them and all other people. Help them to understand that you invite us to follow your example and love others as well. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And now you may go to children's liturgy. Go and listen to the word of God. Go and listen to the word of God. God has the words of everlasting life. God has the words of everlasting life. A reading from the first book of Kings. At the mountain of God, Horeb, Elijah came to a cave where he took shelter. Then the Lord said to him, Go outside and stand on the mountain before the Lord. The Lord will be passing by. A strong and heavy wind was rending the mountains and crushing rocks before the Lord, but the Lord was not in the wind. After the wind, there was an earthquake, but the Lord was not in the earthquake. After the earthquake, there was fire, but the Lord was not in the fire. After the fire, there was a tiny whispering sound. When he heard this, Elijah hid his face in his cloak and went and stood at the entrance of the cave. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm may be found at number 62. Lord, let us see your kindness, number 62. Let us 
see your kindness. Lord, let us see your kindness. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, I speak the truth in Christ. I do not lie. My conscience joins with the Holy Spirit in bearing me witness that I have great sorrow and constant anguish in my heart. For I could wish that I myself were accursed and cut off from Christ for the sake of my own people, my kindred according to the flesh. They are Israelites. There's the adoption, the glory, the covenants, the giving of the law, the worship and the promises. There's the patriarchs, and from them, according to the flesh, is the Christ, who is over all. God bless forever. Amen. The word of the Lord. with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. After he had fed the people, Jesus made the disciples get into a boat and precede him to the other side while he dismissed the crowds. After doing so, he went up on the mountain by himself to pray. When it was evening, he was there alone. Meanwhile, the boat, already a few miles offshore, was being tossed about by the waves, for the wind was against it. During the fourth watch of the night, he came forward, he came toward them, walking on the sea. When the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified. It is a ghost, they said, and they cried out in fear. At once Jesus spoke to them, Take courage, it is I, do not be afraid. Peter said to him in reply, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. He said, come. Peter got out of the boat and began to walk on the water toward Jesus. But when he saw how strong the wind was, he became frightened. And beginning to sink, he cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately, Jesus stretched out his hand and caught Peter and said to him, O you of little faith, why did you doubt? After they got into the boat, the wind died down. Those who were in the boat did him homage, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. My brothers and sisters, today's liturgy invites us to reflect on where and how we experience God. In today's first reading at the mountain of God, Horeb, God was not to be found in the strong and heavy wind, or in the earthquake, or in the fire. After the fire, there was a tiny whispering sound. And it was in the tiny whispering sound 
that God was found. Most people today, I think, find it harder to believe in God, to believe in Jesus, than ever before. One of the reasons for this is because we live in a noisy, chaotic, and confused world. Likewise, we struggle when God does not act as we think he should act, when he allows, for example, innocent children to suffer terribly and to die young, when he allows, for example, so much violence in the world. Therefore, most of us would like a dramatic sign of God's presence, power, and activity that would make faith or belief easy. Where do we find the tiny whispering sound in which we find God? We find God, first of all, in the very human Jesus. The Word became flesh and lived among us. To the shepherds, the angels announced, this will be a sign for you. You will find an infant wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. At the Last Supper, Jesus said to Philip, whoever has seen me has seen the Father. Where do we find the tiny whispering sound in which, in which we find God in Jesus today? Today we find God in Jesus and his word. The scriptures, which we read in our homes, proclaim in our liturgies, and study in our Bible study and faith sharing groups are ordinary, or are ordinary human words that have become the word of God. God is also to be found in the simple words of our prayers of thanksgiving, praise, petition, and contrition, especially the Lord's Prayer. Today we find God in Jesus in the sacraments of our church. Ordinary human words and simple elements are an integral part of each of the sacraments. Likewise, God and Jesus are also to be found in the service and simple gifts we give to those in need. For example, canned goods on Thanksgiving Day and the Giving Tree gifts at Christmas. In this parish year of the Eucharistic revival, we emphasize Christ's real presence in the Eucharist. In the Eucharist, through the words of consecration, a little bread and a little wine become the very body and blood of Christ. In his encyclical Mysterium Fidei, St. Pope Paul VI wrote, but there is another way in which Christ is present in his church, a way that surpasses all the others. It is his presence in the sacrament of the Eucharist, for it contains Christ himself. When we see or receive the Eucharist, we see or receive Christ himself in sacramental form. This is why both the celebration of the Eucharist and Eucharistic adoration deepen our encounter with God, with Christ. My brothers and sisters, today we also find God in Jesus in human experience and human relationships. In Matthew's Gospel, Jesus promised, where two or three are gathered in my name, there am I in their midst. At the Last Supper, Jesus promised to send his Holy Spirit to live within us. In human relationships, God is to be found in softly spoken words of affirmation, thanks, forgiveness, need, and love. Finally, God and Jesus are to be found especially in the heights and the depths of our human experience. In today's gospel, for example, on a stormy night, Jesus was present to his apostles in their fear and terror. Sometimes our most profound experiences of God are Jesus and Jesus <clears throat> or when we feel most alone and surrounded by darkness. However, St. John's first letter is also a powerful reminder that because God is love, where the, wherever there is love, there is God. And therefore, some of our most profound experiences of God and Jesus are when we feel most connected with others, when we are most loving and most loved and surrounded by light. Please stand. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, 
Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Now let us pray that through us, the love of Christ will be shown to the world in the Eucharist. Our response will be, Lord, hear our prayer. For Pope Francis, Archbishop Thompson, Father Bob, and all those who shepherd our church, may they be blessed with the grace and wisdom needed to continue tending to the needs of those entrusted to their care. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For our public officials, that they work for equal education, suitable housing, and equal employment opportunities for all. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For young people who are heading off to college, particularly those going away for the first time, that God will guide them and help them to make wise decisions. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For a spirit of gratitude, that we may appreciate all the gifts that God has given us and become rich in those things that foster life and love. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the ability to imitate Christ, that we may put on the mind and heart of Christ and be empowered to show compassion and forgiveness to others. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who face daily struggles in their lives, and especially for those affected by the fires on Maui, may God grant them the light of his hope. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For our beloved dead, especially Mike Stroud, Charlie Kelly, and Chuck Marksbury, for whom this Mass is offered, may they find everlasting peace in God's heavenly home. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the intentions we recall now in silence. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, we worship you living among us in the sacrament of your body and blood. May we offer to our Father in heaven the solemn pledge of undivided love. May we offer to our brothers and sisters a life poured out in loving service of that kingdom where you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Gift bearers for Mass this morning are members of the Stroud family. Our offertory hymn may be found at number 727, Come to Me, O Weary Traveler, number 727. Take my yoke and leave your troubles. 
Take my yoke and come with me. Take my yoke, I am beside you. Take and learn humility. Rest in me. in me and do not fear. Rest in me, my heart is gentle. Rest and cast away. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Be pleased, O Lord, to accept the offerings of your church, for in your mercy you have given them to be offered, and by your power you transform them into the mystery of our salvation through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death. And by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. 
For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church in recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Therese, the little flower, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world, be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope and Charles our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, to whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him. O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. And let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Our communion hymn is number 909, Jesus, Hope of the World, number 909.
religious, religious education classes for children in kindergarten to eighth grade who attend public schools will begin on Sunday, September 10th. Please see the bulletin for more information and how to register. Orders for the Ladies Club Mum Sale are due no later than this Wednesday, August 16th. Order forms are available at the doors of church or from the parish office. Please see the Theresian for more information. Preparation for the Sacrament of Confirmation will begin next Sunday, August 20th at 5 p.m. in the Parish Center with an information meeting for high school candidates for confirmation and their parents. Please see the bulletin for further information. Members of Little Flowers Health Ministry will be in the main gathering, area, gathering space after Mass to check blood pressures. Please stop by and get yours checked. And please join us for coffee and donuts immediately following Mass in the school cafeteria. This Tuesday, August 15th, is the Solemnity of the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary, a Holy Day of Obligation. Masses on Tuesday will be at 9.30 a.m. and 6 p.m., so please try to attend to celebrate Mary's Assumption. Uh, if any of your family members went to Mass last night, be sure and remind them of this because we forgot to announce it last night. If you're interested in knowing more about the Catholic faith or know someone who is interested, our CIA classes will begin on Tuesday, September 5th. Please let us know whom we can invite. Forms are available on the table in front of the altar to fill out, and we will reach out to them. And of course, if you'd rather reach out yourself, that's perfectly fine, but turn in their names anyway. Also, pick up a bulletin after Mass and read about the Gleason Rones family's journey through our CIA. Let us pray. May the communion in your sacrament that we have consumed save us, O Lord, and confirm us in the light of your truth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Almighty God bless you. Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Our closing hymn is number 645, Amazing Grace, number 645. We'll sing verses 1 and 4. <laughs>